Hello everyone, we will continue the topic update function module and in the previous video we understood each and everything in the debugging mode that how the counter is storing into our own table for a particular date. We are able to store the total number of sales order for a particular date into our own table. Now just see, whenever we are creating a sales order, only in that case, the counter should increase into this table. It should not be the case that we are changing a sales order and sales order and the counter will increase into this particular table. It will be a mismatch then. Suppose if I will go to VA02 transaction code, you all know VA02 transaction code is a transaction code to change the sales order. Now, now this is a include program in which we have the user exits, major, major user exits for sales order creation, sales order change. Now, during change of sales order also, this particular user exit will trigger. If this particular user exit will trigger, this function module logic will also execute. If this function module logic will execute, counter will increase. But this is not our requirement. Counter should only only increase whenever we are creating sales order. This logic should not execute whenever we are changing the sales order. But this user exit will call during change also. So firstly, we will understand and then we will see how, how we can restrict this particular logic to execute whenever we are changing the sales order. So I will go to VA02 transaction code. Suppose I am passing some order number. I will go for enter. Suppose I am changing the order quantity. Suppose I am putting it to 30. I will go for save. I will go for save. The breakpoint will stop. And you can see the user exit is triggering here also. And in the user exit, we have the update function module. Yes. Now, if I will do F8, commit work will be there. After commit work, yes, control will come to our function module. This update function module. I am doing F8. You can see update debugging has been triggered. And now, Control is into SAP update function module. If I will show you SM13 as of now, we will be able to see the update request. This is VA02 and we are able to see the update function module and our function module is here. Suppose I will do F7. Suppose I am doing F7. I'm doing F7. Now you can see I'm into our function module now. Now whenever this query will execute for the date 18th, what will be the counter? Counter will be 2. Psi sub RC will be 0. If Psi sub RC will be 0, have you seen the counter will be 3 now? So it will go to this particular table and the counter will be replaced, replaced by 3. But it is itself a wrong thing. This logic should not execute whenever we are changing the sales order. It should only, only execute whenever we are creating the sales order. And it is extremely, extremely easy how we can do this. SAP provided the clear-cut documentation. Just see the documentation itself. SAP has clearly written whenever T180 TR type is equal to H, it means we are going for create 
else we are going for change. So I will simply, simply put a if condition here. If T180 TR type is equal to H, only in that case, this particular function module should trigger. Suppose if you want more, more clarity, you can see T180 itself. If I will go to T180 table, this is a table for transaction default values, TR type. Go to data element. In the data element, we have the domain. In the domain, we have the default value. Just see, star means masked, A means display, B means edit, C something, E something, H means add. Add means we are creating. So we will simply, simply go for yes. If this T180 TR type is equal to H, only in that case, this logic should trigger. So I will add the logic here. So how I will add the logic? I will right click. Firstly, I will go to enhance mode. Now I will edit this implementation. I will right click on this enhancement, enhancement operations, change implementation. We are not creating implementation. Implementation is already created. Now it is opened in change mode. Now I will write a if condition. If T180 hyphen TR type is equal to H. Now for every if, there is a end if. Now I will go for syntax check and I will activate this enhancement. Now we will see in that debugging mode and the counter will not increase. So I will firstly close this debugging, exit this debugging, I will exit from this. And I will just go for again. I will just wait for the activation. Yes, it is activated. Now I will go to VA02 transaction. This error came because I stopped in between. That's why SAP gave it up. Yes. Sir. So I'll just go to VA02 transaction code. This time we will finish the process. SAP gave it up because we stopped in between. Yes. So I will go to VA02 and we will see now. I will put this sales order number. Now we will change the quantity, suppose. I will go for save. I will go for save. Now you will be able to see. Now TST180 TR type is equal to V. It is not H, yes. So if it is not H, the control will not go to this particular call function statement. Okay. Now, if I will do F8, update debugging will trigger. Yes, because we have other SAP function modules, but our function module will not trigger. Suppose if I will do F7, I will do F7. Now, our function module will not trigger. Previously, control came to our function module. If I will show you in SM13, the update task also. If I will go to SM13, if I will go to execute, this is our. Now, if I will go to modules also, you will not be able to see our function module. Yes, if our function module will not trigger, counter will never, never increase. Now, if I will do simply, simply F8. Now you can see in our table, the counter is two only, two. Now it should not be the case that we stop this, that during change counter should not increase, but it should not be the case during create it stop. So we will check one case of create also. So I will go to VA01. 
I will simply, simply go for order type. I will put the various details. I will go for some material, order quantity, and I will go for sale. Now you will be able to see our TR type will be H. If I will go to this, now you can see TR type is H. If condition true, but this function module will trigger after commit work. Update debugging triggered. Now you will be able to see, we will enter into update debugging. Yes, update debugging. F7, F7. Now this is our function module. Now when this query will execute, you can see the counter will be 2 based upon this particular date. Okay, see, count. now the system date changed because the time is now 12 o'clock for the system. So you can see today is 19th date. Okay, yes, because I started the topic yesterday. So date was 18th. Now the date changed to 19th. So the counter is 0. And this so on the this quick select query will not bring any counter so we are simply setting it to one because this is first record creation for 19th and we are inserting if i will do f8 you will be able to see now if i will put 19th date now you can see for 19th record, 19th date, first sales order created. Because system date changed, that's why, yes, we are able to see the first sales order number. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we analyzed that during change of sales order, this logic is executing. If this logic will execute, the sales order count will increase. But this is, this is not our requirement. We only want to increase the count whenever we are creating the sales order. So we saw the SAP documentation itself. And we put T180 transaction type is equal to H. It means we are only, only going for creation. Then we understood, yes, whenever we are going for VA02, this function module is not triggering. Yes, so in that case, counter will not increase. Then we cross-check during create, yes. But during create, system date changed, but that's not a concern, yes, sir. So we are able to see the first record for 19th March. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.